Have you ever wondered if the European Union regrets the UK's decision to leave? Well, today, we're diving deep into that very question. Before we dive in, if you find our content valuable, please hit that subscribe button to help us reach our first 10,000 subscribers. Your support means the world to us. So, here's the burning question, do our European neighbors have any regrets about losing the UK? To understand this complex issue, we must first look at the history. In 2016, the UK voted to leave the EU in a historic referendum. Since then, both sides have faced significant changes and challenges. One major concern for the EU was the economic impact. The UK was a significant contributor to the EU budget. Its departure left a hole in the finances, but it also meant no more disputes over financial contributions. Another factor is regulatory independence. The UK wanted more control over its laws, while the EU sought to protect its single market. This led to compromises and new trade agreements. Looking forward, the EU now focuses on its future without the UK. It's pursuing integration in various areas, including defense and climate policy, where the UK often resisted. Now that we've looked at the broader picture, let's explore the EU's stance. Many EU officials have indeed expressed regret over the UK's departure. Jean-Claude Juncker, the former president of the European Commission, said, the UK's decision to leave the EU is a loss for both sides. We regret it deeply. Donald Tusk, the former president of the European Council, went even further, calling Brexit a tragedy for Europe and warning of its weakening impact on both the UK and the EU. Ursula von der Leyen, the current president of the European Commission, lamented, the UK's departure is a major setback for the European project. We will miss the UK's strong voice and its important contributions. The regret stems from tangible consequences. The UK, as a founding member and one of the largest economies, was a significant pillar of the EU. Its departure has weakened the EU both economically and politically. Negotiating the terms of withdrawal consumed a substantial amount of time and resources, further exacerbating the situation. According to a 2022 survey by the European Council on Foreign Relations, 62% of EU citizens believe that Brexit has been bad for the EU. The UK's departure has cost the EU an estimated €100 billion Euros in lost trade. The UK's departure has also made it more difficult for the EU to coordinate its response to common challenges, such as the COVID-19 pandemic and the war in Ukraine. The EU has had to spend an estimated €10 billion Euros on negotiating the terms of the UK's withdrawal. Moreover, the uncertainty created by Brexit has sent ripples through businesses and investors, impacting economic growth in both the UK and the EU. With the UK now a third country, access to the EU's single market and customs union is no longer the same, potentially hindering trade not only with the EU but also with other countries. In conclusion, it's evident that a majority of EU officials do indeed regret Brexit. The UK's departure has come at a significant cost, both economically and politically, and it's created an ongoing challenge for the EU. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And remember to subscribe for more in-depth analysis of critical global topics. Until next time.